As historic amounts of water rushed down the Missouri River Channel from the Dakotas, work was underway to protect the electric system serving vulnerable western Iowa river bottom land. With predictions that the expected flood could last two to three months, it was imperative that Northwest Iowa Power Cooperative remove equipment from both a substation and a communications tower near Modale, Iowa, where water could reach four to ten feet deep, according to inundation maps from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. NIPCO crews first rerouted communications for the 295-foot tower and then began dismantling the clay substation. Workers removed voltage regulators, oil circuit reclosers, and metering electronics. A crane was moved in the next day to load the 31,000-pound 5-MVA transformer for transport to a dry storage area. If left in the substation, the equipment could suffer damage from flood water. Impact with floating debris could also cause oil to leak from the transformer and voltage regulators. The long-term flood also poses a threat to NIPCO's 69 kV transmission line that runs through the bottomland. Flowing water has the potential to weaken pole structures. Once the water has receded and the ground dried, NIPCO's crews will assess damages to flooded equipment, towers and transmission line and begin the restoration process. Timely removal and storage of this essential equipment before the flood will speed repair and re-energizing the electric system through the flood-stricken areas when the flood is gone.